Welcome everyone. In this video series, I'm planning to provide a detailed walkthrough on all questions from Killer Shell Exam Simulator for the certified Kubernetes application developer. I believe this recording would be useful resource for those preparing for their CK AD certification exams. So this is um, yet another learning resource that you can watch to understand on how to approach the questions and find solutions. So please remember this is a walkthrough session on solving the questions and it takes time to cover the approach taken to solve them. I would strongly recommend to practice before appearing for the exam. The Kubernetes certification programs offered by the Linux Foundation is not just a skills check exam, but it is also a race against the time. The more you practice, the better chance for success with the high score. Now let's get started with the question number one. So this is more of a disclaimer here. It says each question needs to be solved on a specific instance other than your main candidate at terminal. You'll need to connect to the correct instance via SSH and the proper command is provided before every question. To connect to another resource, you always need to return first to your main terminal by running the exit command and then you can connect against um, via SSH to a different one. In this ex uh, real exam question, you'll, uh, question will be solved on a different instance, whereas in the simulator, multiple questions will be sol uh, solved on the same instance. So this is uh, more of an information. So as they say here in the real exam, each question will be solved on different instance. Um, and in this uh, simulator environment, we are going to do it, uh, I mean, solve multiple questions on one single instance. Okay, and here uh, starts the actual question solve this question on this instance. So as you can see, now we are on the candidate at terminal. Um, so we are on a different host. Now we need to connect to this host and copy it. And so one more tip to remember when you use, when you're on the real exam as well as on the similar simulated environment, the, you have to use control shift C to copy and control shift V to paste. It's not always control C or control V in a Windows environment. So you have to remember that. Now I'm connecting, I have connected to this environment and the question itself says, the DevOps team would like to get a list of all namespaces in the cluster. Get the list and save it to this file on this mission. Straightforward question. So we need to first get all the namespaces in this cluster. So we use kubectl get namespace to list all the namespaces. And if you notice, I'm, I'm just using the K alias instead of typing KUBCTL here. So this uh, alias would be set um, both in the killer shell exam simulation as well as on the real exam. So you don't have to set this alias. Um, it will be all set by default. And uh, now to answer this question, so we have to now uh, write it uh, to a file. So kubectl get namespace, um, all the namespaces. And we have to now uh, write this to the file here. So that should do. Let's now inspect the file to make sure uh, the contents are written here. Uh, it is indeed there. So that concludes uh, the question number one in uh, CKAD exam series. Uh, if you do like this video, so don't forget to hit that uh, like and subscribe button. So see you in the next uh, video.